Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another smoking session. I'm your host, Crazy Rocky, here with Jason Nova. Today we're going to be watching ACDC's You Shook Me All Night Long official video. Uh, I have not seen the video. I don't know if I've heard the song. Have you heard the song? Yeah, I've heard Okay, the seen the video? Uh, no. All right, well, let's jump on it. Obviously, a fucking uh, absolutely, oops, oops, absolutely great performance. Uh, you know, th they can shred so hard, and that's the thing that makes ACDC so, so unique is because there are a lot of bands, they have one thing about them that's unique, whether it be their guitar, their their you know singer etc they have their i mean their drummer is okay but but the guitar the guitarist as well as the lead vocalist is so unique like the lead guitarist the the uh, lead that they play is always so unique it's done so well it's he just fucking shreds through it it sounds so different from any other guitar solos unless the other guitar solos are copying them and then with the vocals like he has such distinct vocals because it's low and it's raspy but at the same time he can bring it to this really high high pitch and it still sounds raspy and it's really you can it, it's always obvious that it is that singer you know what i mean so yeah, yeah he, he's uh th that's what makes acdc so you know different and unique is that they have like two pieces that go together so well but yeah anyway what did, what did, what are your thoughts yeah like uh this is definitely one of my favorite songs by them uh, mm -hmm. the energy is great too yeah yeah and uh I mean everything about like how their his voice uh, like you said stands out and yeah. it just seems like a lot of the 80s rock bands like uh -huh. so many of them just had that those voices that stood out for sure and I think a lot of it is because you didn't have auto tune mm -hmm. so the best voice won out in mm -hmm. a lot of the cases so um yeah I'm just saying like uh like compared to I, well, you look at like the pop era, right? Pop okay. era like uh, the two thousands or the nineties. A lot of them sound the same. Well, that's because that's what the definition of pop is. Pop is popular, so it's just people copying what's popular. That's the I mean, their voices sound the same too. Yeah. Even like but that's the rock definition bands of, had the problem too. Well, I don't know about about like alternative rock and shit like that. But the difference that I think this is is because that's not a normal singing voice. He doesn't sing like that. He doesn't yeah. sing. Do you know what I mean? He's doing that intentionally. No, I know, I know. So like, and and for well, it's like and for a lot of with his vibra uh, vibrato, exactly. And so like the thing is, is this type of thing that growl doesn't sound that good over modern day music, in my opinion. Yeah. Like you can do it, and there are songs where if you use like an old school type beat with a new modern feel or something like that, you can do it. Or but for the most part, I feel like those growling voices just don't work nearly as well in today's music but i do know what you mean yeah because like you could do with this it's like the instrumentate the thing is is the instrumentation is complex these days back yeah. then it used to be simple so you could just do whatever with your voice and and as long as you're matching the key then you're going to be able to it's it'll carry you and so it doesn't matter if you have a growly voice because then that'll just make it sound more unique and it won't clash with the instrumentation because it's not too complex nowadays you know everything's done you know we like you do it and then you record it on the computer and then you add it in and, and whatnot and you mix it all together so that way it's a complex beat and etc and so it's just yeah it's harder to do that over those things because it clashes so much more in my opinion but, but but i do agree that you're right i wish there was some type of some type of genre that could bring back these types of voices just to see how it would be and i think post has started to do it just to see just a little bit yeah. and i want to see how far post can take it and see what he does next because it'll be interesting to see but yeah no i'm sure soon Sooner or later, somebody's going to come along and find some sort of way to, to, to mix up those types of, uh, you know, vocals with modern music, for sure. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. yep. Well, anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining us during the smoking session. If you did enjoy, please press that like and subscribe button for more content like this in the future. We have other reactions to ACDC, other artist bands, etc. on the channel. You can check out if you like. Uh, in the description below, we have my commentary channel you can follow, as well as our Twitch channel you can follow. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That will pop up during the outro. You can let us know what else you'd like to, uh, you'd like to have us react to in the comments down below. We'll get around to it as as possible besides that thank you guys so much for the love the subs the support the suggestions and is there anything else where we have off here smoke weed a lot of it <laughs> but more importantly thank you for joining us during this smoke session